what's up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here thank you for subscribing to this channel i just want to say thank you so much and i appreciate all the new subscribers all of you guys who have been rocking with me since i started this channel thank you so much i am more than grateful and this community we're all about personal growth and development we're all about love and positivity and supporting each other and uplifting each other we try to have everybody see and win and live their best lives okay you guys so i just want to say thank you to everyone and welcome but if you are new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button because you are home you have found your home welcome home you guys give me a like on this video let drop me a comment if this video resonates with you well, let's get into this topic. Today's discussion is going to be about success is already yours. Success is already yours, you guys. If you can think it, you can achieve it. If you can think it, you can accomplish it. Accomplish it. The idea is coming to your mind because God always shows us the possibilities in life through our, our visions, our dreams, our um, our imagination. When you're dreaming about something, when you're thinking about something, when you're thinking about that idea, you're thinking about that goal, you're thinking about that business, you're thinking about this luxury lifestyle that you want to live, that's a preview. It's a premonition of what's yet to come. God is showing you the possibilities. The universe wants to conspire with you and work with you to bring all of your dreams and goals to, to path, okay? You wasn't put on this earth to be raggedy, homeless, addicted to drugs or alcohol or, or living this, this bum lifestyle. But because we have choice, we can either choose to focus on this or choose to focus on that. We can either choose to focus on the lack of or negativity or choose to focus on the abundance in this world and the positivity. The success is already yours, you guys. You just have to tune in and align yourself to it. So I talk to a lot of people that are like, oh, I had a dream, you know, um, that I was owning my own business, but I didn't, I didn't pay in no mind. I just thought it was a dream. Listen, you guys, it is imperative that you believe your dreams. When you dream something, it is literally a preview of what's to come, okay? It's a preview of what's to come. Don't take your dreams, your ideas, your thoughts, your premonitions, your imagination, don't take that for granted. Don't take that lightly like it's just something happening. These ideas, these thoughts are happening for a reason. When you have a dream that you're successful, you live in your best life, you live in this luxurious life, you operate in your business, you the CEO or something, that is literally a preview of what's to come, you guys. It's already done in the spiritual realm. All you have to do is align yourself to it by taking a step in that direction. And once you start applying pressure to the things that you want to accomplish, trust me. The baby gone bust. Pressure bust pipes. Pressure makes diamonds. You keep on applying pressure and you keep on going in that direction, going in that direction, everything is going to fall into place. Um, Because uh, you guys know I'm a life coach. Book a session with me. If you have not booked a session with me, you are totally missing out, okay? Because the sessions be live and lit, okay? People go home with some real life nuggets, some real life gems, changing their lives. But anyway, when you have a vision, when you have an idea, when you have a thought of a business, um, um, cultivating a hobby, cultivating a gift or a talent, pursue it, you guys. Go after it. Pursue it. I cannot stress this enough because the success of it is already done. It's already yours. That's why you're having the idea of it. That's why you're having these these visions of it. Um, now, a lot of people get discouraged, you know, they start pursuing their dreams, pursuing their goals, and, you know, they're like, oh, I've been doing this for X amount of months and nothing's happening. That's because there's a process to everything, okay? When you're not getting the money or when you're not getting the clients, when you're not attracting things, a lot of the times it's due to because you have the 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 um, the fear and the 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 worry of, of failure. You have the 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 idea of I'm, this is not going to work. This is not going to be successful. You have to completely eliminate that. You have to know that you know that you know that you know without a shadow of a doubt that this is going to happen. It came to mind. It came. The idea is yours. The success is yours. You have this vision. God gave you the vision because it is sustainable. Because it is you are able to accomplish it. Uh, accomplishment because you are able to accomplish it but that doesn't mean you're not going to go through the processing okay Just, you can't start at kindergarten and then jump to college it doesn't work like that you have to start at kindergarten and go through the grade system and each level that you're at you're learning something you're being more sharpened you're becoming more wise you're more educated you're more patient you have more money management um, you you have more of a, a money mindset a successful mindset you're you're purging and getting rid of a fear doubt worry um, limitations that lack of mindset these are this is what's happening during the process of it okay God said if you need to have thick skin to get to where you try to get to 
I'm going to thicken you, okay? So when you're going when you're being processed, a lot of y'all get so discouraged just because you're getting processed. Stop getting stop getting discouraged because you're you're in the processing stage. The process is key. The journey is key. It is imperative. It is imperative that you understand and and indulge in the process um embrace the process instead of this is not working you know why why am i not getting any clients or why this or i feel like i'm at rock bottom it's a part of the process because a lot of times we want that million dollar company but when we start it we don't have million dollar energy we have to get rid of the worry the fear the doubt the lack the um the 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 poverty mindset um sometimes we sometimes you going through the fire because you got to stop hanging around with certain people because they're going to sabotage the goals they're going to sabotage the vision they're going to sabotage the money they're going to sabotage the dream so you might go through a season where um god is showing you that you're going to have to cut some kind of some people off and it be like that sometimes but it doesn't mean or people just start falling off um uh, randomly you know you might fall out with people you be like dang as soon as i started my my business as soon as i started my dreams and it happens all the time as soon as I got this going, so-and-so fell off. Listen, it's supposed to. When you processing and you going, when you going through the process and you practice, you, you are bringing in, you're calling in your visions, your goals, and your dreams. Whoever comes, let them come. Whoever stay, let them stay. Whoever goes, let them go. But it's imperative that you understand that the, the processing phase is important because if you have to have that thick skin to get to where you, that your next level to where you want to be, God is going to make sure you have that thick skin. And you you can't you cannot just go from kindergarten to college. Can you just imagine? Let, let's just hang on to that for a second. Can you imagine you going from kindergarten to college? You wouldn't have the proper tools. You wouldn't have the proper mindset. You wouldn't have the backbone. You wouldn't have the strength, the courage, the endurance. You wouldn't have none of that. And it's the same thing when you're cultivating a vision, when you're cultivating a dream, when you're trying to bring forth um, your ideas into reality. It is the same thing. You're going to go through the processing, okay? And it doesn't mean that um, this is a bad idea. It's not going to work. Um, God is testing me. The universe is testing me. It doesn't mean any of that. It means that everything is divine. And it's happening in divine timing. And there's some fine tuning that needs to be done with you. And during that fine tuning, yes, you're going to be uncomfortable. Yes, you might hit a, hit a phase where you're like, man, I don't want to do this no more. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get it's gonna get difficult. But anybody who's successful, it wasn't no easy journey. Anybody who 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 came, who who got it out the mud and really shaped their dream from nothing to something, it wasn't it, it wasn't um, easy. Don't nobody want to hear no punk ass success story, okay? They went through the fire, they went through the ringer, they experienced some things, they lost some people, they 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 they, they were stripped of a few things. All just that they foundation was was broken. All for it to be a new foundation um, built back on top of that. And I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example of um, like when you remodel a kitchen. I, I, I like to use this example because it gives a clear picture on exactly what I mean. So when you're when someone is remodeling their kitchen, you know, they ripping out the tile, they're ripping out the dishwasher, the fridge, um, ripping out the cabinets, the, the countertops, they're ripping out everything. And it's uncomfortable for them because they got to do the dishes in the bathroom probably or they probably um, eating out, spend, wait, spending money that they don't really want to spend. They probably getting tired of eating fast food and it makes things really uncomfortable and they're like oh my gosh I cannot wait for this kitchen to be done I cannot wait for this to be done but then when it's done during the process of it it's like a tornado in the house you know you got workers coming in and out contractors coming in and out drilling early in the morning you don't really want to you got to wake up and let them in you have to you have to deal with the dust of it the the uncomfortableness of it is is imperative like people get extremely uncomfortable when their kitchen is being redone but when it's done the beauty of it, new dishwasher, top notch, new fridge, top notch, new stove, new ovens. Y'all ever seen those those double ovens or those triple decker ovens or whatever? Brand new granite, brand new um, backsplashes, brand new countertops, brand new everything, brand new tile, and it is beautiful. If y'all have seen a luxury, beautiful kitchen before, them luxury, beautiful kitchens and then bathrooms, they be amazing, okay? They look wonderful, but the process of it, was extremely uncomfortable it was the foundation had to be destroyed in order for a new foundation to be built and luxury to be on top of that new foundation and it is going to be the same process when you're cultivating your dreams when you're going after things that you want the things that you used to be aligned with now that you have elevated your mindset 
now that you um, are, are um, God is putting you in a position to make sure you, your business mentality is um, sharpened, your money management is sharpened, you are no longer in alignment with the things that you used to be, the, the, the people, the places, the circumstances, the activities that you used to do when you had that lack mindset, when you had that, oh, I'm okay with this nine to five. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with having a nine to five, but um, there's a lot of people out there who want more, who want better, who want to who want to live a lifestyle of what they want to do and and attract their abundance off their own, their God-given talents instead of um, working for someone else or punching the clock. And it's not that easy to transition from that, but you have to start cultivating your dreams. You have to start cultivating your visions. You have to start cultivating your talents and the things that you want to become successful in. But it's going to be a process, but the vision is already there, you guys, and I promise you, if you can see it 100%, you can accomplish it. If you can see it, if you can think it, if you can dream about it 100%, the success of it is already there. It's already done. You're not, a lot of people think that um, they have to just conjure up success or conjure up all this wealth or, you know, build up um, this, this generational wealth from scratch. No, 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 no. You're not building anything from scratch. All of this abundance already exists. All you're doing is tuning your perspective into it. That's all you're doing. You're changing your focus from being a worker bee and I can't, there's lack, there's limitations, um, gas prices and the economy and recession. All you're doing is changing your focus from that to the abundance in this world, okay? And it's easy to get stuck into that mindset of, of the limitations and lack because it seems like all of our default settings is just negativity, what we don't have, what we can't have, what we can't find, what we can't do. You literally have to change your mindset. Entrepreneurship and going after your visions and goals and dreams, it, it, it takes a mindset of by any means necessary. I'm going to get it done no matter what. I know that I know that I know that I know that I know for a fact that I can accomplish this. It takes a certain inner knowing, a certain resilience, a certain um, a certain level of accomplishment to get the things done that you want to get done. But once you get over that hump and you start to see the floodgates opening, because I promise you they're going to open. I'm telling you from experience, they're going to open. But once you get over that hump and the floodgates start to open, you're going to be like, I'm glad I kept going. Going. I'm glad I believed in myself. I'm glad even in spite of when I couldn't see the, the light at the end of the tunnel, I'm glad that I kept it going because I promise you, there's nobody who wasn't successful, who didn't come up with an idea, a thought, a, a, a service, a, a product that they didn't feel, that they didn't go experience something where it was just plateau, like nothing happening. Crickets. Nobody paying attention, nobody sharing their content, nobody buying their services, nobody buying their, their product. I promise you, they've all went through it. I've been through it. Everyone that I coach goes through it. It happens to all of us, but it's give, it's shaping you, it's fine-tuning you and giving you that resilience. It's giving you that mindset. It's making you stronger. So once you, once you push through that, all you got to do is run towards that fear because right on the other side of that fear is your breakthrough. And once you hit that breakthrough, you're going to be like, oh, it wasn't even as bad as I thought it was going to be. Like, this is cake now. I did it. I accomplished it. I promise you guys, do not be afraid to go after your goals, your visions, your dreams, your ideas. Do not be afraid to turn your ideas into, into reality. Do not be afraid to start applying pressure towards you. It doesn't matter who don't, who ain't supporting you. It doesn't matter. Shut out the noise, shut out the chaos, and go after the things that you want because the I cannot stress this, this enough. The fact that you have the idea is all the evidence that you need to know that it is a success. The success of it, the wealth of it, the luxury of it, the the fulfillment of it is already there. This is why you're having the thought of it. This is why you're having the idea of it. I cannot stress that enough. Anything that you can think of, anything that you can um, have an idea of, anything that you can daydream of, anything that you can see and visualize, it is attainable. It is already yours. You just have to 
shift your focus to it, align yourself with it, and go after it. That's all you have to do. You take one step, God is going to take 10 steps. You take another step, the universe is going to take 12 steps. I promise you, it is like textbook at this point for me. I promise you, this is how it works. This is, it, it, It's not going to work for me and not for you guys. It's not going to work for Tyler Perry and not for you. It's not going to work for Oprah and not for you. All of these people, we, I mean, the list goes on. We can name millions of people who, who had an idea, a thought, a vision, came from the mud, came from the hood, came from the gutter, and, and, and turn they and turn their ideas into wealth. And all these people will tell you it wasn't that easy. They there was a time where they plateaued where they wasn't seeing no income, where they wasn't seeing the they weren't weren't seeing the progression of it, but they knew they had to keep going. They had that resilience inside of them. So I promise you guys, if as long as you have the thought, the vision, the idea, the dream, it will come to pass as long as you apply in pressure. Don't worry about the hows, the wins, the where's, the why's. Don't worry about what it looks like. All you have to do is keep on going. Wherever your focus is, it's going to manifest, you guys. Wherever you're applying pressure to, wherever you're um, building up momentum towards, it's going to come to pass. It's the law. It's the laws of, of quantum physics. It's the law of the universe. It's, it, it's how everything works. Same as with your job. If you work a nine to five, and you say, okay, I want to apply for this man management position. And the requirements are you be you have to be there for two years. You have to have um, X amount of um, positive feedback or whatever have you. It's the same thing. They want you to have, have built up that momentum in order to qualify for that position. It's the same thing going after your vision goals and your dreams. You have to build up that momentum around it. And then it will start to flow and explode. It will get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay? Are you guys tracking me here? Drop in the comment sections. Let me know what kind of visions, what kind of goals, what kind of... Um, talents and interest in and, and gifts that you guys have that you are cultivating that you are trying to cultivate um let me know send me an email send me a message book a session with me i would love to work with you guys on your vision your goals and your talents um you guys discuss them amongst um, each other what what type of things are you going after are you a brand new business owner are you a seasoned business owner um let the community know the trials and tribulations that you may have gone through but you accomplished things that you got through it and looking back it wasn't that bad at all looking back you was already built for this just in the moment it the fear of it felt bigger than what it was let each other know support each other okay you guys i love you so much don't forget to share like and subscribe talk to you soon